What's up folks, I'm Dave from ClientAmp.com and this is That LTD Life, the show where I review the best and the worst LTDs on the internet so you can find the best software for your business. That's my entire goal here, help you out, weed through all of the options. This is almost a daily show at this point, so if you're enjoying the content, make sure you hit me with a like and a subscription, really appreciate it. Now today, we're looking at an email validation tool. If you don't know what email validation is, you're in the right spot, I will explain it to you. But the tool is called SMTPing, at least that's what I think it's called. I'm gonna call it SMTPing, you could probably say SMTPing, but SMTP is part of an email protocol, so or it is an email protocol, it's not part of one. So I'm gonna call it SMTPing. All right, let's get into it. What is email validation? So when someone signs up for your marketing stuff, you know, you have a little form on your website, or maybe you're even taking in-person signups, they could do one of two things wrong. They could type their email address incorrectly or write it down incorrectly, or they could just flat out lie to you and give you a fake email address. Now, why that matters to you is, your email reputation depends on you sending to valid email addresses. Sending to invalid email addresses will lower your reputation. It will eventually cause email service providers to block your emails or at a little bit less worse than that, they could just put you in the spam box, mark you as a promotion. We wanna get our reputation as high as possible and one way to do that is to send to actual email addresses. So email validation is part of that process. Now, what's cool about this is there's been a lot of email validation tools that on AppSumo over the years. What's cool about this one is it's the only one that I can remember that has monthly reoccurring credits for a one-time price. Not sure how they're offering this, but I'm definitely going to jump on it, especially when you start to look at the pricing for email validation. This could be a real cash cow in disguise. Tier one here, we get 30,000 email validations per month pretty generous, even just 30,000 for 39 bucks is a killer deal, but they renew every single month. And if you're an agency and you want a whole lot more emails, you can go up to tier two or even all the way as high as tier four, getting a whopping 1 million validations per month. Plus, once you hit tier two, they're giving you a little bonus here. So on tier four, it's 250,000 extra one-time use credits. And if you're curious, here is what is in tier three. I don't mean to skip past them. I just have tier four, so that's why I was looking at those details. Okay, so here is how this video is gonna go. I'm gonna show you the interface of SMTPing. We're gonna shoot it out with another previous lifetime deal called Clearout, which is not currently available for lifetime deal, but it was several years back. And I'm gonna basically tell you what I've discovered because I've already done quite a bit of testing here. So I've definitely got some opinions on whether or not uh, this is a worthwhile investment. All right, let's get into it. Here is what SMTPing looks like. Just a few main screens to go through here. The interface is very, very simple, and part of that is because there's not that many features on this tool quite yet. It doesn't quite compare to the higher priced options, but we'll get into that in a second. So here's our dashboard. We've got some basic analytics for how we're using the tool. Our verification analytics are right here. Not that helpful, honestly, especially if you're validating for multiple you know, different businesses. You don't necessarily wanna see them all grouped together. We can see individual details in our history section. We'll look at that a little bit later on. Then over to the right here, we've got basically like a usage meter for how many credits we have used. And then down below, we have a little graph of how our credits were used for the current month. I would actually prefer if this were you know maybe a drop down where I could select the last three months or the last year something like that but right now it just says June daily email validation and obviously I just got my hands on this account so I've only validated uh, you know a, a few days ago as of the recording of this video so you get your account you get signed in the first thing you're probably gonna want to do is test out the validation you can do that over here where it says single email validation and in this box, you can type in any email address you like. Like maybe I will do, I don't know, how about eddie at pearljam.com and we'll hit check. Now it's gonna go and run all the tests here and find out whether or not this is a real email address. Even does some stuff here in the command line. You can see how it's kind of pretending to connect here. It doesn't actually send any emails, but uh, we get a result back that this one failed due to gray listing, a spam prevention technique. I don't know if this is a real email address. I just made it up right now, but it tells me it doesn't work. They are preventing it basically by putting it on a gray list. So what that means is you probably wouldn't want to email this account. If you run a test and everything goes through smoothly, it will look like this. It'll say valid, okay, the email address check passed successfully. 
then at that point, you know you can add them to your marketing messages or just send them a blast right then and there. So the single email validation is really useful when you're at in-person events or you just wanna check, maybe like I take email addresses when people sign up for our Facebook group so I could run them through the email validation tool here and ensure that they're authentic. A lot of people lie, especially on Facebook. So uh, that would be a great way to check things out. Now there is a similar tool over on ClearUp. I'll compare the two in a moment, but let's finish up looking at the user interface here for SMTPing. This is called bulk email validation and this is where you're probably gonna spend most of your time inside of the application. You download a CSV of all your contacts from whatever marketing platform you're using, like MailChimp, ActiveCampaign, ConvertKit, Modic, funnel kit automations, whatever you're using, you would get that CSV file and then you just dump it right here and it's gonna go through and verify them. I'll show you what it looks like. So here I've uploaded a CSV and then all it asks me to do is select the column with emails and then I'd scroll to the bottom and hit verify list. Now I'm not gonna do that here because I've already uploaded this list and I'm actually gonna show you the same list compared on ClearOut on SMTP so we can kind of see the accuracy, but more on that in a moment, just that's overall the whole process for validating emails. There's also this CSV validator tool where you can do the same thing, but this isn't going to validate your emails. It's just gonna validate that the CSV file doesn't have any errors in it. It's kind of weird, but I've actually had clients fairly recently say, hey, I'm having problems with my CSV file. This tool would have been pretty handy because it'll tell you flat out whether or not your CSV has any errors. You can see this one is error free. All right, let's start comparing ClearOut to SMTPing. Now, keep in mind, ClearOut's been around for several years. They seem like they're a very successful company and they don't currently have a lifetime deal, but they do offer one-time use credit. So we can kind of do an approximate shootout here. Let's head over to their pricing and you're gonna see that 1 million credits, which is our top tier plan on AppSumo, is 1,100 bucks. And if you just want 30,000 credits, Remember, that's the lowest tier plan. It's $174. So now you can see why this deal might actually represent a great opportunity to resell this service because if you have email clients that you serve, you can validate their email addresses and charge them similar prices to what I just showed you, but you just have a one-time upfront investment of anywhere from $39 to $349, and then you can reuse this service for eternity. Now, this is really only helpful if the quality is similar, and so let's do our best to try and figure out whether or not we can trust the results that SMTPing is providing us. Now, first I wanna compare the quick validation tool in ClearOut versus the single use tool in SMTPing. I don't really like the interface of ClearOut to be totally honest. The color scheme is kind of drab and overall it's just kind of hard to find stuff. I find myself going through filters and all the time to try to find my history, but I digress. Let's go ahead and compare the results here. So let's test out eddie at pearljam.com, hit validate. And here, ClearOut tells us flat out that this is invalid, it is not a real address. Remember, we did not get that clear of a result over on SMTPing. Now, we could sit here all night and just do one email address on ClearOut and one email address on SMTPing and then compare them, but that would be silly. I've already uploaded a huge list to SMTPing and I've done the same list over on ClearOut. Well, it's not huge, it's like 1600, but it's big enough to give us an idea about the overall accuracy. So to start off, I'm gonna head over to the history section of my SMTPing account, and here I have a list of all of the validations that I've done, and I can click down below here to show the results. Now, first, I wanna point out that these results, they're the same results that you get when you do the bulk email validation tool that we looked at a moment ago, but it's not the same view, and I really wish it gave us the same chart. It actually gave me a table with numbers I could look at, whereas these numbers are still visible. I have to hover over, and then they show me the actual numbers, but I'd love to see a table here. I think that'd be a lot more helpful. Um, there's some export options down below here. They are not very thorough, and I'll get into some detail as to why I think so, but first, let's just talk about the overall results. So, I've uploaded 1,591 email addresses. Five of them came back as duplicate, and then valid right here, which is the largest chunk, is 1,331 are valid. That means that the rest of them were either unknown, 41 were unknown, 158 were invalid, and the last chunk is catch-all addresses, which is 56. So let's see how these results compare over on ClearOut. 
I'll shrink down my screen here and underneath, what do you know, we've got clear out. We'll kind of slide this over and now we can see that we've got the same email address, 1591 total, five duplicates, and overall, ClearOut does something very nice, which it says guaranteed deliverables 1307. It still breaks everything down, but it gives us these guaranteed deliverables, uh, meaning that these are email addresses. It feels strongly enough that if you were to send out an email to them, that they're gonna come back as actually hitting the inbox. ClearOut also breaks things down in a little bit more detail. You can see we have valid email addresses, which is quite a bit higher than we saw on SMTPing, but then it subtracts a bunch of these other addresses that are invalid, catch-all, unknown, and then we've got zero syntax errors, which is great. That means that no one you know, typed their email address in wrong. They didn't type G-A-M-I-L instead of Gmail. Uh, we've got disposable accounts. These are email addresses that were created solely for the purpose of signing up for something and they don't actually have to be checked again. You know, a lot of tools will do that these days. And then we've got some free accounts, which means that they're utilizing things like gmail.com, yahoo.com, aol.com. So not great to have free accounts. It'd be better to have corporate accounts, right? Or custom domains. That's gonna be uh, usually just a higher quality address. And then finally, we've got role accounts. That's gonna be things like support, help, billing, sales, things like that. And there's 28 of these or 2% of the list. Now we generally want to send to real humans checking real email accounts. So sending to things like role accounts or disposable accounts is not necessarily going to be a good thing for our deliverability. So my math here is that they're probably subtracting a bunch of these from the valid addresses, giving us that total of 1,307 guaranteed deliverables. So overall, the numbers are fairly similar, right? Because we've got 13, well, actually the interface here is kind of screwy, so let's make it bigger. We're at a weird screen size. We've got 1331 on SMTPing and 1307 on ClearOut, but are they the same? Are the 1307 all represented on SMTPing? We've just got a few extra, or are they totally different? To find that out, I went and did what any normal person would do in 2024. I didn't even think about doing that work manually, and instead I gave it to Claude. So remember, SMTPing came back with 1,331 valid email addresses. Well, Claude says that there are 67 email addresses on that list from SMTPing that are not on the list from ClearOut. So that means that SMTPing is saying that these are okay to send to, but ClearOut is saying, no, don't send to these. By the way, I don't know that like ClearOut is more accurate and SMTPing is bad. That's not what I'm trying to hint at, but I just wanna point out that there are some differences here and it's kinda of hard to tell which way you want to lean. If we kind of do that same thing in reverse, ClearOut has 37 email addresses that it says are good, which SMTPing is saying are bad. So if you add these numbers together, we've got roughly 100 email addresses that were just not really sure what to do with. So I guess at this point it'd be wise to maybe just check those 100 on a different tool or something like that, or maybe um, even just send to them separately and see what happens. But uh, it's very interesting to me to find that there is not 100% crossover, but there's a decent amount. There's a significant amount of crossover here. It's not like we had just completely different results. However, the list is not that big to begin with, right? We started with roughly 1,600, whittled it down to around 1,300. And if we have you know, 100 off one way or the other, well, that could be impactful, especially if we're sending to invalid email addresses. So given the newness of SMTPing and also some other things like lack of features, which I'm gonna talk about next, I would just have to tend to want to believe that ClearOut's going to do a better job, but I don't have any evidence to back that up. SMTPing could have the more accurate results here. There's one place that is indisputable where ClearOut is the winner, and that is integrations. You can easily integrate ClearOut with a ton of different apps. So if you're using WordPress like I am, we actually use ClearOut to validate emails that get signed up for our email list before they even get added to our list. They are then validated automatically through their API connection. You can also connect it up to things like LemList, which is an old AppSumo deal that's now a very successful company. MailChimp is on here, Moosend, an old LTD is as well, Active Campaign, MailerLite, uh, Zapier, Make. I mean, there's a ton. Of, oh, wait a minute. These all say coming soon. 
All right, looks like everything I mentioned up until Campaign Monitor is currently available, but after that, it's all coming soon. So anyway, a ton of integrations. I know those integrations work because I personally use them, uh, which are not there on SMTP. And everything that I've showed you is what's available. It doesn't mean they won't add these integrations later on, but they're not there right now. Another sign that you know SMTPing is, is new is the fact that the export options are so limited. Remember I showed you, we went into the history here. I can grab my options right over here, all results, clean results, or an export report, which is just kind of a PDF that shows these same graphs. Now, this is fine, but what if you didn't want to just grab the valid email addresses, but instead you wanted to grab the valid email addresses as well as say the catch-all addresses or the unknown addresses? There's no way to do this with SMTPing. You'd simply have to you know, download all of the results and then filter them yourself. Actually, all of your results is right over here and then filter them yourself. When you download all the results, it would look something like this, where you have a status column and you can just filter out all of the ones that don't meet your criteria. But it doesn't have to be this complex and let me show you. With Clearout, when I go to download my results, I have a lot of options here. I can download the guaranteed deliverables, I can download the deliverables with risk, the non-deliverables, email addresses with clear out standard columns, which would basically be what I just showed you, all of the results, or I even have a custom option here where I can choose any amalgamation of the contacts that I would like. And this definitely seems like a pretty reasonable interface. Hopefully SMTPing implements something like this very, very quickly. So the conclusion I've come to is that SMTPing has some decent results, but it's not as feature rich and it doesn't have any integrations like some other higher price tools but the price is so low that it could still be worth it if you're willing to give it a little bit of time to get those extra features in. And even if you're not, you can still probably turn a profit just downloading CSV files for your clients and then cleaning them and handing them back, charging them a fee for that service. I think that's probably the best summary I could give of this tool. It's not great, but it's cheap enough that it's totally worth it. I'm still gonna give it a pretty low score just because of everything I've said, but I'd also recommend buying probably tier two to tier four, I mean, depending on how much email you deal with. So that's my recommendation. I'm gonna give this one a 6.9, a very interesting tool in kind of a weird use case. Usually 6.9s, I'm not telling you to buy the, t the highest tier unless it absolutely you know, fills some kind of niche for you. In this case, it could be worth it even if you just do email validation a few times a year. So that's the review. If you want help with your website, make sure you head over to clientamp.com. You can work with me and my team to help you grow your online business. If you like anything you've seen in this video, I've got links down below. Go ahead and check those out. They help support the channel and make content like this, putting stuff out almost daily and makes it possible with your clicks. So please continue to support us and hit me up with a question or a comment down below. I try to get back to nearly everyone. Once again, my name is Dave Swift. Thank you for watching and I'll see you hopefully tomorrow with the next review.